Welcome to another exciting episode of Curiosity Chapter's Curious Facts. Today, we embark on a journey through time to explore the fascinating history of Reading Abbey, one of England's most significant monastic establishments. Get ready to unravel the secrets of this ancient site and discover the remarkable tales that have shaped its legacy. Nestled in the heart of Berkshire, Reading Abbey was founded in 1121 by King Henry I, the son of William the Conqueror. This grand Benedictine monastery quickly rose to prominence, becoming one of the wealthiest and most influential in the region. Its imposing buildings and extensive lands served as a testament to its power and prestige. Over the centuries, Reading Abbey played a pivotal role in English history, hosting numerous royal events and serving as a significant centre of learning and culture. The Abbey's library was renowned for its vast collection of manuscripts, attracting scholars from far and wide. Now let us take a short break to find out what happened to King Henry I. In 1135, before the Abbey's completion, Henry I breathed his last breath in Normandy, France. His illness? Well, not an illness as such. It was due to a surfeit of lampreys, a meal made from jawless fish, a feast that turned out to be fatal. On his deathbed, he whispered a command, Take me to Reading, where 200 monks await. His retainers vowed to guard his body, and so began a solemn journey. On January 3rd, 1136, the high altar witnessed a regal procession, Henry I's body with his closest people being. His illegitimate son, Robert de Caen, and the Archbishop of Rouen stood vigil. Here before God and stone they laid him to rest. The king who shaped Reading's destiny now rests within its very heart. Now, back to our curious historic journey. However, the Abbey's fate took a dramatic turn during the dissolution of the monasteries under King Henry VIII. In 1539, the last abbot, Hugh Cook Farringdon, surrendered the Abbey to the King's commissioners, marking the end of an era. The once magnificent buildings were gradually dismantled, with only ruins and fragments remaining as a reminder of their former glory. Today, visitors can explore the remnants of Reading Abbey, including the stunning inner gateway and the impressive abbey ruins. These remnants stand as a testament to the rich history and architectural grandeur that once graced this site, offering a glimpse into the lives of the monks who called it home. After visiting Reading Abbey, a five-minute walk takes you to Reading Museum is well worth visiting to see a treasure trove of artefacts related to Reading Abbey, allowing visitors to step back in time and explore its rich history. Let's delve into some of the remarkable pieces within its walls. Among the museum's prized possessions are intricately carved Romanesque stones from Reading Abbey. These stones once adorned the Abbey's cloisters and their significance extends beyond local history. Notably, one of these stones depicts the earliest representation of the coronation of the Virgin. Additionally, you'll find several beakhead voussoirs adding to the visual tapestry of the Abbey's past. We hope you enjoy delving into the captivating history of Reading Abbey. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Every click fuels our quest for knowledge. Together, we'll venture into forgotten realms, chase celestial wonders and sip from the cup of curiosity. We welcome you to join our community of curious minds as we unravel hidden histories, decode mysteries and celebrate the joy of learning because curiosity knows no bounds. Until our next chapter, stay curious.